Hey there, big man. Hi, Angie. What you drawing there, partner? I am drawing our bit on new alien forms. Albedo? You mean that alien scientist from that Ben 10 show a while back? Yes, Harry thinks it's sad that he didn't get redemption arc. But that was probably the writer's doing. Yeah, so you're giving him new alien forms. Engineer, are you aware of the show? The Owl House? <laughs> Did someone say the Owl House? What's wrong, Sally? I love the Owl House. It is one of the greatest couples ever and is the most progressive Disney show with a gay agenda. So soldiers support gay rights? Yes, I might not trust anyone from another country straight away, but I am a firm believer that love is love no matter the gender. That's great to hear, Sally. The heavy thinks that too, but I'm more interested in the creatures and backgrounds of the show. It had me inspired to make this. So what are you drawing? Harry is drawing if Albedo came to the bowling aisles and gave new transformations there. Those two wanna see? Yes. Yeah! This new snaggleback form is called Tenzel. Ten from Tarzan who was raised by apes and snail from its hard shell. And maybe from his slimy nature. I love how you incorporated some Yeti to show his corrupted DNA. Yet, Harry thought it looked cool. What's with the ultimate form? It looks like King's false description. Harry thought to use false interpretation and in making the ultimate form, but not just blatantly copy. Ultimate Tenzel is a fortress of solitude with a shell that's not invincible. What downside is that it loses its mobility with just a heavy shell surrounding its body. But it has evolved to compensate for this drawback. Ultimate Tenzel secretes a type of sticky ore that can throw to trap prey, and if that's not enough, it also has long double jointed limbs it uses to snatch up any enemies. This is very imaginative of you, partner. One drawing, and then I already love these pictures. This transformation is called Fittle Sticks. Heavy wanted a more mythical man because it's a fairy and reflect its impish nature. Albedo mostly uses this to sneak into places or gather intel. I'm just wondering about its ultimate form. Well, in case you didn't know, bug demons in the Isle has dance to communicate messages. Ultimate fickle sticks evolve to the point that their dance now control other bug demons and use them to their bidding. Even Odie. Well, that's terrifying. Drawback to this form is that it can't sneak into places easily anymore and that it loses its giant jaw since it has other demons protecting it from harm. I may not be an evolutionary biologist, but I do love these concepts. Show us the last one. I am drowning in my own sweat and excitement. This is Harry's proudest work yet. This is from a captured DNA sample of Grom. Its name is Phobos. Why is its name Phobos? Well, Phobos is the name of one of the moons of Mars. An albedo is a measure of reflectivity in objects. It's mostly used for moons. But what ties this all together is that Grom is inspired by the name Prometheus. So I also named my alien by the By the Greek god of fear, Phobos! Heavy, you crafty son of a bitch. I knew the Russian literature PhD wouldn't be wasted on the English language. Heavy takes that as compliment. I understand the second half at least. So I based Phobos' design off the humanoid form the Grom takes to rip Amity's letter. Oh, I like that reference. I also added the watch on the face to reference Omniverse upgrade, and I thought having eyes would be cool. Ultimate Phobos is the most unique ultimate yet. Have you imagined that its liquidy form turned into membrane over time? I do love myself some speculative evolution. Yes, Heavy was inspired by the design of the vampire squid found in the depths. It also has lined teeth under all that floating membrane. But to its old power was apart from floating it now has spots on head that flashes color similar to the dead lights from Pennywise. Looking into these spots while active can cause terrifying hallucinations, and prolonged exposure can cause permanent damage to the person's psyche. That sounds brutal. The only weakness is that it's more vulnerable with a weaker regeneration factor and it can't transform into the person's fear itself anymore. Having made this cool looking color to him at this point in. Forget the first one, this is now my favorite. Your ideas of these ultimate forms are really good heavy. Thank you, engineer. I haven't felt this good since we played that FNAF special delivery a while back. Maybe I'll show my drawings to the rest of the team when I'm done with them. Maybe I'll do an ultimate witch transformation. You are now legally bound to show to me first when you're done. Come on, fellas, the round is gonna start any minute now. <laughs> <laughs>